My God, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. I'm having such a great time in your town. My first time to North America. Your food, killing me. All the cheese and potato and gravy. Because I'm trying to stay healthy. Because um, since the start of last year, I lost a fair bit of weight. A total of about 75 pounds at this point. Now, thank you. Thank you, I do appreciate that, but I also feel guilty when people clap because 75 pounds is a lot, but I put it there. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I feel bad when people cheer me for fixing a problem that I created. I have the guilt of a fireman who's getting a medal, but I was, I was an arsonist as well. So it's just like, it makes me like tempted to keep messing things up in my life just to fix it for you now. But. But it's interesting, people ask me like, you know, I found it so hard to lose weight because it was, you know, I, I was a big boy for most of my life, but towards the end of last year, like, you know, there were some signs I needed to lose weight, you know, signs like uh, mirrors and um, <laughs> Wayne scales. Um, but everything about the health food world was annoying me, you know, a lot of kale and kombucha and keto, a lot of Ks. I see three Ks in a row, I'm like, fuck it, I'm out. There's something unsettling about it for me, so I can't really put my finger on it. It's not the type of cone I'm used to seeing. I also, with the gym, hated the gym. I went to the gym once, and maybe it was bad luck, but I got stuck next to someone who stank, like, ugh, like smelled. Have you ever been next to someone who smells so bad, you genuinely think about sticking your finger in your ass and smelling that instead? Like, ah, oh, that's refreshing. That, that's the good shit. Mm. Cause it's the devil you know. The thing that helped me lose weight was therapy, right? I started seeing a therapist, helped me understand how my brain works. And the thing I learned most about therapy was that while I should take responsibility for my obesity, I needed to acknowledge it, but I don't have to feel shame about it. I, I even found that through therapy that I apparently I can blame people for it. <laughs> so let's start blaming some people, starting with the Muslims. I, <laughs> I'll leave it at that, come on, all right. No, uh, not all Muslims, just one, mainly my mother. Uh, she's a Muslim woman, but I'm not, because see, uh, she's so open-minded, she let me believe what I wanted, but she also married my dad, who's a Buddhist man, and it was such a great way to be raised, having you know, separate beliefs and showing that you can have love and compassion for each other. They have been married for 40 years, and they still live in the same house, and they have separate little prayer rooms. It's cute, I love it. But I wish they stopped there though, because my Buddhist father and Muslim mom sent me to a Catholic school. Like, what kind of hippie bullshit child abuse is that? Do you know how confusing that is for a child to have Buddhism, Catholicism, Islam hitting you at the same time? That's like getting your child, putting a baseball helmet, some hockey pads and saying, go enjoy the badminton. It would... It was, they love me, but they clearly loved a practical joke way more just seeing my head spin going, <laughs> He doesn't know if it's Christmas or Ramadan. He's fucked. <laughs> it was during the month of Ramadan, if you have any Muslims or people who know about Muslim culture, where they fast, they don't eat from sun up till sundown, and in preparation for that, they would wake up around 4.30 in the morning, eat something. So I would wake up with mom, I would eat with her, but then go to school, have breakfast, lunch, come back and break fast with her at sundown, and have dinner. I'd have five meals across the month and just stack it on. Even as a six-year-old, I'd be like, oh, mom, we nailed Ramadan this year, we really did. <laughs> It's interesting what the changes that my body is going through. You know, obviously losing a lot of weight, it's good. I'm, I'm enjoying some of the aesthetics, like mainly neck up. Like I'm ha happy with what's happening here, you know? Enjoying the facial symmetry that I didn't know I had. I'm very proud of it. But underneath this shirt, <laughs> it's not a pretty sight. I don't know how to explain it to you. Like, have you ever had a bean bag that suddenly lost 30% of its beans? It doesn't just shrink wrap itself around the rest of the beans, does it? There's a lot of swinging and dangling happening a lot right now. Underneath here, it's a Salvador Dali painting right now, just like, my belly button used to be so proud, like, oh, but now it's like, Rrr. Looks like it misses the ice cream that I miss. Folks, you've been such a wonderful crowd. Thank you so much for having me, Montreal.